Hello everyone. In this video, we'll study about functional groups. In my last video, we have already studied about hydrocarbons. So we know that hydrocarbons are composed of only carbon and hydrogen. But do all carbon compounds made of only carbon and hydrogen? If yes, then all compounds should have similar properties. But we see different type of elements of carbon around us. It means elements beside carbon and hydrogen are also present in the atmosphere. This gives rise to the concept of functional groups. So, what are functional groups? Functional groups are basically the groups which impart characteristic properties to the compounds in which they are present. So, functional groups are actually derivatives of hydrocarbons. That is, they are derived from the hydrocarbons. Let's understand with an example. For example, CH3CH3 is an hydrocarbon that is an ethane group. If we replace hydrogen of this group with X, that is our functional group, it becomes CH3CH2X. Now this new compound is a derivative of the hydrocarbon ethane. Now we'll study about different types of functional groups. First is carboxylic acid. In this, the group present is COOH. The carbon is doubly bonded to oxygen atom and singly bonded to OH group. So you will think, what is this R group? The R indicates the hydrocarbon group present. It can be CH3, C2H5 and so on. There is just the replacement of H of this hydrocarbon group with this functional group present. That is the COH group. The sour taste of lemon and grapes is due to this carboxylic acid. Next is alcohol group. In this, the hydrogen of alkyl group is replaced by the OH group. Alcohol is found in beer and wine. Next is ester group. Esters are derived from carboxylic acid in which the OH group is replaced by the OR group and the ester functionality becomes COOR. The aroma of fruits like banana and strawberry is due to this ester functionality. Next come carbonyl compounds. They are of two types, aldehyde and ketones. First aldehyde. In this, the hydrogen is replaced by the CHO group. The almond's flavor is due to the aldehyde group. Next is ketone. In this, two alkyl groups are linked by CO group and give rise to the ketonic group. The typical flavors of mushroom and berries is due to this ketonic group. The functional groups studied earlier were oxygen containing functional groups. Now we will study nitrogen containing functional groups. First is amines. In this, the H is replaced by the NH2 group giving rise to amines. The drugs like nicotine and caffeine contain this amine group. Next is amide. In this, the functional group is CONH2 and it becomes RCONH2. The DNA and protein of living beings consist of this amide group. Next is nitro group. The group present is NO2 group. The TNT used in explosives for militaries and so on contain this nitro group. Next category is halogen compounds. First is alkyl halide. In this, the hydrogen is replaced by a halogen group. Here, the X is the halogen present. X can be fluorine, chlorine, bromine or any halogen. Example, CHCl3. Here, the original hydrocarbon was methane, CH4. The three hydrogen of methane were replaced by three chlorine atoms giving rise to the alkyl halide CHCl3. Next is acid halides. Here the group is COX. Here also X is the halogen which can be fluorine, chlorine or bromine. For example, CH3COCl. Here the H is replaced by COCl acid halide group. That's all about all functional groups. Thank you so much for watching the video.